Let's go! Hello everyone, it's me Mr. Nine Man and welcome to another video. In this video I'm showing you how to replace the battery in the Nintendo 3DS because maybe you just want to get a new battery or maybe most likely your battery is broken like this one because as you can see if you press this it doesn't turn on you may think it needs charging but if we plug in the charger it will go on charge it will just come off and sometimes it won't be on charge like this and all I have to do is just push it up and it charges again but even when it charges it still doesn't turn on um, because the battery is just broken because it says it's charging when really nothing's happening the battery is broken so first of all buy a replacement battery I got this one off of uh, eBay for a few pounds. Most of them will come with a little screwdriver like this but if you do have one which is the right size because these don't come in the right size they do work they're just a bit harder because like I said they're not in the right size. Right so first of all grab your 3DS if it does work you just want to change the battery because you can um, which I very much doubt you will anyway. Um, make sure it's turned off because otherwise not going to be very good is it on the back of the 3ds there are four screws you're just going to undo all of them for the first time in doing it some of them may be a bit hard especially if you're using this some of them may be a bit hard like right, if if you are using your own it'll probably be a bit easier but as you've never opened it it's going to be a bit harder and um you don't want to do that on there that will open the whole thing up you just want to undo this just this back bit so i'll do that okay once you've done all four of them screws um I've already done it once, so it was a bit easier. But you see how this uh, bumper here, well, I call it a bumper anyway. Um, see how like next to it down here, there's this little gap. You can use the screwdriver to push it open like this. Now it's open, and then you can just use your fingers to pull it out. Uh, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to unscrew them all the way. Just a little bit, uh, just until they come out a little bit. This is what it looks like on the inside. And here is the battery. So, what you can either do. There's two ways to doing this. Uh, there's the very like gentle way where you grab your screwdriver and you put it in that little hole here. You just push it out like that comes out or there's the way where you don't want to use a screwdriver and you just go and it comes out it is what it looks like on the inside to be fair I wouldn't really recommend just whacking it because you could just break it a bit but anyway after you've done that grab your new battery now before I put it in I want to show you the difference between a rechargeable one like you can buy one by Nintendo which but they're like £20, like just get a cheap one which isn't by Nintendo, it's about £5, it works the same. Uh, here we are, here's the difference, this one has Nintendo, this one doesn't. You can see and you can just see the differences between them. Now if you just want to upgrade the battery or just like change it, because I know some people like upgrading it because these kind of ones last longer and all of that. Um, if you're still in your warranty this will void it but if it's just broken then and you're still in your warranty you might as well just send it back but if you're not then it's fine um, 
but if it ever breaks and you send it back to Nintendo then they won't appreciate how you've just put in a new battery, they won't allow it. Um, but it's still fine, like if there's any problems then just find out on the internet how to fix it I suppose. Uh, there you go, so you see these three gold bars and you see these three gold dots, you're going to line them up, put it in like so and then it's finished, you're just going to screw the back back on. Well, you see how on the bottom there's these like bits that come out, you're going to put it into these holes here. Like that, and then screw them back in. Alright, so once you've screwed them back in, like I have here, open it up, switch it on, and it works. Now, some places say, like this one on the um, packaging, it said you should. Um, charge it for 36 hours but I thought oh, I'll just turn it on straight away see if it has any charge because it says it has no charge in it but it was full percent so yeah but I do recommend charging it for a bit before you start using it because it may say that it's full charge but sometimes it's not completely full charge um, anyway here you go it's all working and um, I'll link the battery I got in the description it's only about like four pounds or something uh, it's from ebay and it'll be in the description below uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please leave a like and a comment and if you haven't already please just subscribe join pride i do loads of videos every time i upload a come straight to your home page so again thank you for watching and i'll see you all later